Hey YouTube, it is the Textbird from Textbird.com again. As you see, I have my website in the background as a shameless plug. Um, so be sure to visit it. It's uh, phone reviews, Mac reviews, video game and movie reviews, and a whole bunch more, including how to root and videos like these and more guides on my website. But what I'm going to be do sh showing you how to do this episode is how to wirelessly tether your Android device. Basically, what wireless tethering does is lets your phone uh, make an ad hoc network uh, to be available to other devices that uh, are able to connect to such networks uh, such as laptops, tablets, uh, or maybe uh, even other phones. Uh, it lets, uh, lets those other devices connect to your phone, use your phone's data plan to be able to connect to the internet. Uh, where this is really handy is, let's say if you're somewhere that doesn't have any Wi-Fi or all, is, all the Wi-Fi is uh, encrypted so you can't be able to use it, but you have your phone and your laptop or whatever you want to use to browse the internet, you want to go ahead and just uh, start the wireless tether on the phone and boom you connect it through your laptop and you're able to browse the internet on your laptop. So the first thing you need to do is download a couple of prerequisite software. I'm going to go ahead and go through that right now. The first being the Android Wi-Fi Tether APK. What you want to do is go ahead and just go over to the Android market. I'm going to go ahead and include these links in the description too but I'm going to show you how to search for it as well. Just type in wireless tether. It's the first thing that pops up, and it's also the first icon that pops up. It's called Wireless Tether for Root Users. Now, you're going to notice something interesting. You're going to see a little install button right here, and yet you're going to see a dialog box that says, This app is incompatible with all of your devices. Now, there's nothing wrong with your phone. It's not incompatible with your device. Basically, Google uh, Market took this off because of pressures from uh, phone carriers, specifically Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint. Uh, because as you know, Verizon and AT&T charge for this kind of service to be able to connect to your phone as a wireless hotspot. I think Verizon charges maybe about $30 a month for this fee, which is really ridiculous if the phone has the capability. But anyways, um, what you want to do is, you know, right now you're probably wondering, well, how do I download it? Well, what you want to do is visit the developer's website, and you're just going to click that link right there says visit the developer's website. It's going to take you over here to the Android Wi-Fi Tether and you want to go over to the download section and I'm going to download, well I've already downloaded, the Wi-Fi Tether version 3.1 beta 11.apk. Now uh, sometime in the future I'm sure there's going to be newer, newer releases, newer updates. If you're watching this and Wi-Fi uh, Tether version 3.1 is no longer the most recent, just go ahead and download whatever is most recent is in the beta and is in the non-experimental phase and uh, go ahead and just download it. it's going to work exactly the same so what you want to do is just save it I have mine saved to my folder right here Wi-Fi version 3.1 beta 11 dot apk okay that's the first step done the second step is you're going to need to download something that's going to be able to install this app onto your phone the easiest way to do this is to download the Android Central Side Loader Wonder Machine now I'm going to go ahead and include this link in the annotation right now, so go ahead and click it and I'm just going to go ahead and take you to this form right here. Feel free to read the guide, it gives you more information on side loading, what it is, uh, and more specifics. But for the point of this video, we're going to go ahead and skip all that and go straight to installing side load wonder machine. So what you want to do is just click this, this button right here, it's going to start the installer for you. The installer shouldn't take any more than 3 minutes, but once you have it, you're ready to start side loading the Wi-Fi tether into your phone. So go ahead and just start up Android Central Sideload Wonder Machine. And what we're going to do is go over to this button that says Choose APK. And wherever you saved your uh, Wi-Fi Tether.APK file, be it your desktop or whatever folder you chose, just go ahead and select it and open it up using the Wonder Machine application. This uh, dialog that just popped up just means your app is ready to install. Be sure to check the update box if you're updating an existing app. Okay, we're not updating an existing app, so do not check this button. And just hit install. As you can see, it's installing the application. One, uh, it's 1.1 uh, megabytes and success. It's uh, downloaded into my phone. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and go over to the My Phone screen. And as you can see here, it's uh, right in My Applications. You're going to open up. You're going to open it up. It's at the, should be at the very end. Wi-Fi Tether. And you don't have to donate. If you donate, good for you. You know, your Mother Teresa. If not, go ahead and just hit the close button. 
You're going to see this next dialog says no access control. Doesn't matter. Just hit OK. Now you're ready to you're ready to start tethering. What you want to do is before you start tethering is just go ahead and hit your menu button and go ahead and go to settings. You can change the SSID. The default is Android Tether. I'm going to go ahead and change mine right now to just something simple, Textbird. Hit OK. And then if you want, you can also see this button over here that says enable encryptions. You can enable encryptions if you want a password on your network. I, this is if you're in somewhere that has a high population uh, with people connecting to you know networks, I advise you to put an encryption on it. Otherwise, you're going to have maybe 10 million people connecting to your phone and it won't work for you. Okay, so now we're going to go back to my computer screen. And as you can see, it is available. It is the Textbert, uh, the Textbert Wi-Fi, and you just connect to it, and you're able to connect to the internet like that, and you are done. If you have any other questions, you have now wirelessly tethered your Android device. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment box. Uh, send me an email, send me a private message, or just visit my website, and also you can leave it in the comment section over there. Um, if you have any other questions or if you want to see me make another video which you're having trouble on, feel free to uh, also make a suggestion in the comments box. And again, this is a tech expert. Thank you for watching. Please uh, rate, you know, uh, comment and give a thumbs up and subscribe to my videos. Thank you very much, guys, and see you later.